Let's take a look at subtracting integers in this video. We just looked at how to do this with integer chips. Now we're going to do it slightly different. We're going to use uh, number lines to represent our integer subtraction today. A quick refresher if you didn't see the first video on integer addition, uh, the number line is going to look like this, and we're going to use yellow right facing arrows to represent positive energy integers. And we're going to use blue left facing arrows to represent negative integers. Now you might have noticed something really interesting in our last video about subtracting integers using integer chips. Um, if you haven't caught that already, we're going to look at what the shortcut here will be. So let's start with a question. We're just going to dive right in here. Um, what would we get if we had negative 4 minus negative 8? Now here's the shortcut. We can simply turn this into a negative 4 plus a positive 8. So when we have these these right here, we can change these to the opposite sign if we're doing integer subtraction. So let's see what that would look like. So this right here, this line right here, I can do pretty easily. All right, I know that I can start by going negative 4 from uh, 0 on my integer line. And I can go positive 8 from there very quickly as well positive 8, and I know that I get up, end up at positive 4, which is exactly what my result is when I get negative 4 minus negative 8. I get a positive 4, which is really interesting. We have a negative minus a negative giving me a positive. Now, this isn't always a rule, but this is an interesting observation here. We're going to do the same thing in this slide. So we're going to start with a positive 4 minus a negative 2. So again, I'm going to be switching my signs here and here. They're both going to become positives. They're switching. So I got a positive 4 plus a positive 2. With a number line, this becomes a pretty easy question. I can start at 0. I can go to positive 4. And from there, I can go another positive 2, and I end up at positive 6, which is exactly what we get when we go positive 4 minus negative 2. So again, we're looking for that flipping the sign subtraction to a addition step. And in our last example, we're going to look at negative 3 minus a positive 4. Okay, so you'll notice we have a negative here. This is going to switch to a positive, and this positive here is going to switch to a negative. Okay, so we're doing using our knowledge of opposite integers from the very first section here. So now that, I, now that I've just made that switch, I have negative 3 plus negative 4. Again, with our integer line, this is a pretty straightforward question to do. I can start at 0, I can go negative 3, and I can go from there, I can go another negative 4. And you'll notice I end up at negative 7, which is exactly what you get when you go negative 3 minus a positive 4. You get a negative 7. Thanks for watching this video on subtracting integers. Make sure to go practice some of these yourself.